I do. These two words carry the best of intentions, but after a few years, half of couples say, I don't. Despite the statistic, thousands of couples are still expected to get married here in the Bay State. I thought it was beautiful. He really did a great job picking it. He really chose something that would fit me really well. I tried it on and I just fell in love with it. And I love the little puckers. They just make the skirt so much prettier and fancier. Kim Eldridge got engaged last year and is getting ready for her wedding in August. Last year, around 4,000 couples tied the knot in Boston, and just as many are expected to tie the knot this year. But the true cost of a wedding is far more expensive than a ceremony and reception. The average in Boston is somewhere around thirty-five dollars to $40,000. It would include your photographer, your videographer, your invitations, your dress, um, feeding everybody, um, your entertainment, everything, soup to nuts. Last year in Massachusetts, there were roughly 80,000 marriages and 40,000 divorces. The abundance of divorces make the lifelong commitment look like a myth in the 21st century. These days, brides and grooms need to also calculate a post-marriage cost. A, a simple divorce probably would, a simple divorce meaning the parties will come to a quick agreement, there's no back and forth in and out of court, will at least cost you $5,000. Marriage counselor Paula Zerfoss says complacency and short-sightedness cause people to get divorced. I think that people um, get stuck. And I think they get stuck in a number of different ways. One way they get stuck is when they experience that rush and that glow that comes with um, courtship. I think that's kind of an idealized state. And people get scared then when difficulties come, when they get into arguments, and they don't know how to resolve them. Zervas says it takes more than just love for a marriage to be successful. I think one thing that's really important is being able to talk with your partner from a place that is vulnerable inside of yourself. Eldridge's fiance John has gone through the pains of divorce before. This time around, John's making sure he's getting married for the right reasons. When I got married the first time, it was really it was out of a sense that it was something that needed to happen. With Kim, it's different because um, I just care about her. I love her. And I'm getting married because of her as opposed to a sense of it's something I have to do or something that uh, something you're supposed to do. Second marriages like John's have a higher divorce rate than first marriages. For more marriage advice, go to www.focusonthefamily.com. And keep the conversation going by commenting below and posting your best marital advice. I'm Garrett Turner, Boston Chatta.